I'm now cutting this piece to 8.5 inches long as I marked earlier. And here I'm cutting some thin strips of walnut. And now I'm just making this little jig cut to 7.5 degrees. Here I'm marking half an inch over from that last line that I just drew on the top. And finally marking an inch down from the top, which I later changed to an inch and a half. So I think I've determined that I need to make this piece here a little bit bigger, uh, so I'll go ahead and do that and then uh, come back and see what looks better. Alright, so I got the new one done, I just have to sand this down to the line a little bit more, but I ended up changing a couple things. This is one and a half inches long, which is a little bit better length, and also I changed this to seven and a half degrees from eight and a half degrees, uh, and that seems to work better. Um, just with these two pieces on here, it just looks a lot better. It works a lot better. So that's what I'm going to go with. All right, and I have two more of these pieces, but I'll finish this second one up later. Uh, and so what I can do now is take these two and just simply glue it to this little block here. Um, and there we go. So I've created this little jig here, uh, and this piece of plywood with these two screws in it, uh, I actually already had. This was to hold up stuff when I was putting finish on it. Uh, and it just so happens that I, I can fit a block of wood in here and this, and it fits right in between these two screws perfectly. And then putting a clamp on here, uh, these screws and this piece of wood uh, lock everything in place so it can't slide around. Uh, and now I've got a nice way to clamp it, and this will be easy uh, to clamp up multiple too. Alright, and I ended up also deciding to cut some splines uh, so I can go ahead and coat those with some glue and then um, stick them uh, in the end of the tong here to give it just a little bit of extra strength. Right in there. Perfect. Now after sanding this to 400 grit, uh, I'm going to put some mineral oil on here. Now you can use cutting board oil, uh, which you can get at like home centers, Home Depot, Lowe's, that sort of place. Uh, however, that's a lot more expensive than just buying plain mineral oil. Uh, this we got at Walgreens. Uh, you can get it really anywhere uh, and uh, doesn't cost a whole lot of money, only a couple bucks. Uh, and this works just as well. So you can see, you could just flood it on there, really. And works as a great finish. All right, and here are the completed tongs. Uh, so these things came out pretty good. You can make them bigger or smaller uh, as you like. Uh, and these ones look great. The uh, finish isn't uh, quite soaked in yet, but that's okay. Uh, I'll put a couple more coats on this to make them, uh, uh, to protect them. Uh, and also, uh, these can be used for plenty of different things. You can use them to pull toast out of the toaster oven, uh, etc. So if you like this project, um, please subscribe to my channel, Croy Woodworks. And also, uh, this project is going to be uh, kind of one with another project that's going to be coming out shortly. Uh, so that should be up and again subscribe to my channel if you want to see that and also like this video. So thanks for watching